Previously, two software engineers started working on a project. It started getting traction, so they quit their jobs to pursue it full time. What are we building? An open source AI powered code editor. It curates the best AI tools all in one to let devs just make what they want to make fast. We recently got funded by a top startup accelerator to join a batch of other founders for two months. At the end of which, there's Demo Day, where we must present our product to investors and they choose to invest in us or not. Our names are Pan and Nang and we're fully building in public. If you enjoy the series, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 20 days until Demo Day. All right, today is Monday. Start of a new week, and we're about to go meet with an investor. That's our ride. This is our first time in a driverless car. All right. Yeah. Hello, sir. Thank you. Uh, we did no preparation for this investor. <laughs> Once again, this is our third time <laughs> talking to an investor with no preparation on the way there. To be honest, we're just too busy building. I was telling them that we are going to make this marketplace thing and that we have a lot of users. Our background, what we're building, where we're at, metrics, and where we're going in the future. Quite a perfect time to get pre seed funding from We have a wonderful dinner from Afghanistan. Every now and then we have some guests come over. We've got Patrick and Nicole today. Now Patrick, cool. Hi, I'm Nicole. I don't know what to say. You're canceled though. <laughs> Gold is my You're homie good. from, yeah, from CMU. CMU. We go way back. We should not try too hard to create artificial intelligence because I think that it might be artificial. artificial. You, you know what makes you unique, and then you can leverage that. Okay, we got my boy here, James. We interned together and he is a very successful startup founder now. Wow. I'm James, thanks friend. Building something called Sal AI. And not so successful yet, but I'm uh, hoping to get there. And so uh, we're conducting a user interview right now. We're gonna find out how good or bad our onboarding process. Go so ahead, is the website. As a developer myself, very excited. So I do have VS Code already, so. Well, his process matters. Yeah, it's <laughs> a different show. Yeah. Hi. Right. So so <laughs> user interview completed. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting delirious. We're dealing with a lot of bugs right now. Uh, I'm like, I'm like 80 percent Bug here and here, where the issue is I'm being abandoned. So, so this is like... Console that logs this. Yeah, yeah. So I'm debugging like here. But like, your thing is going to work anyway because... It's always the last. Okay. If I press command E. Oh, okay, okay. New window. The overlay. Pop up. Uh, uh, Wednesday, October 30th. We now have the metrics on the big screen. We have 481. Past couple days, <laughs> daily active users. We'll see where it's at by demo day. My life was a movie in New York. It's a movie now. It just changed the genre. It's a yeah. horror movie now. <laughs> Stay tuned. So today is Halloween and we actually have some good news. One is that we finally got funding in our bank accounts. And I just got hired. Look at this. <laughs> Yes! Co-Chief Executive Officer. Big. I went from L4 to CEO. <laughs> Self-promoted. <No. laughs> we actually, for the first time, have money in our bank account and we are no longer using our own money, which we've been using quite a bit because free trials yeah. have been going crazy. But we have a celebration dinner with a special guest, Daniel. We got some uh, some good food. Celebrate my new job off. Nang is totally unemployed. <laughs> we'll hire you soon. Yeah, I'll work hard. All right, we got two designs for the revamp of the landing page. We're gonna run a poll and we're gonna get Nicole's opinion. Let's see what I've learned from all my UX. Ooh. This is the current one before and a first choice of after, second choice of after. Hi, right, Nicole. Choose. Choose. Oh, God. You have three seconds. <laughs> what? Three. <laughs> Two. Wait, so what? I feel like these two graphics are saying two different things. Oh, like, what? Oh. isn't this sequential? And then oh. this one is like, oh, all of these are coming to pair. Oh, this makes it look sequential. Yeah. So we like, don't want it to. Be yeah. Okay, so then I picked this one because then it's like they're all separate products, kind of that you integrate. So I would say this one. Okay. Okay, so that makes sense we're actually. Going with this one. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Oh, we're going with this one. Now we're gonna open it up to the community. We're gonna have a little fun poll. Nicole's vote is like 10 votes. Have... Updated 28. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not updated at all, man. I think it's pretty accurate, actually. I think there's about two weeks left, so maybe it's more like 14 days. We're performing a soft relaunch today of the app. And look at this new onboarding welcome page we have. Oh my god, this shit is clean, dude. What? Oh, import extensions for VS Code. People were saying shit was happening behind the scenes but now you gotta click this button look at that hell oh, yeah. hell yeah look at this Ooh. beautiful hey so quick yap sesh you get a lot of comments people saying oh are you guys aware that the 
another company solving the same problem or doing the same thing as you guys. And for that, I'll say yes, we do know there's like a million of them. Yeah, that's why the space is very competitive right now. And then we get a lot of comments saying like, oh, I'm doing a startup and you know, there's a competitor that's doing the same thing or there's already existing idea. For all of this, I'll say that, yeah, like a having a differentiator is nice. Like for Pair AI, we have like an extremely different bet in the long term on what future for AI coding is gonna be like with inventory thing, right? But even if we didn't have that, I would say that it's still fine to solve the same problem that someone's already trying to solve if you're the right person for it. You can just see this in YC. There's like a bunch of companies doing the same thing. Two of them are Rippling and Central and they're both like billion dollar companies. So even when they didn't have a moat necessarily, like it's, they can still succeed. Oh, and last thing is right for the investments right now, we're currently raising money. I'll say that I have like 110% conviction that Pair AI will succeed in the long term. It's definitely not gonna be easy, but I feel like with anything, we can always just figure it out. And it's just a matter if the investor wants to be along for the ride or not. It might be delusion, but I 100% believe it. All right, we're about to head out to investor meeting. Yo, Nay, are you ready to go? Uh, Nay? Bro, wake up. We gotta leave, bro, it's in 10 minutes. Where are we going? We're going to demo day. Oh, fuck, we're not ready. Uh, going to this Google Ventures event so google might invest in us let's go time it's time for google ventures an event with a bunch of investors and google invited us just finished the event we overheard this person say he thinks the most promising startup here is the AI code editor that's us so you know that's pretty cool a lot of these VCs wanted to talk to us apparently but it was kind of like um previous episode on Pan's channel another YC founder was like oh in these events you want to be like the hottest girl in the room low-key low key. kind of felt like that's like people were coming Shit. up to talk to us and we're like we're a hot extra, girl. extra smile so things are good pair eyes back up Anyways, back to the grind. Okay, so it's the night before the relaunch tomorrow, the big relaunch, and we're gonna get posted on all the social medias, Product Hunt, Twitter, LinkedIn, everything by uh, our accelerator and ourselves. The last time we launched, it went crazy, but you know, there was bad and good, and uh, hopefully this time there's gonna be more just good, but definitely there's gonna be some bad. And you know, that's just how it works usually when you have a lot of eyeballs that see whatever you're doing or whatever you're making, there's bound to be some people who don't really agree with you or like you as a person or like whatever you're doing, right? So we just have to roll with it. But I think with enough time, uh, people will be able to see that we're really, we're really trying to do this shit, right? Like we're working hard. It's only been a month, but I think we made a lot of improvements for what we could have done in a month um, to the app. And uh, we're excited for people to see it. So by the time this video releases, we already have launched, so I don't know what's going on right now, but hopefully it's going good. Make sure to go try out the app and huge shout out again, as always, to the Pair Eye open source community. Would not have been possible without you guys and you know everyone who's watching this video right now. Okay, praying for tomorrow. Peace.